this program. Thank you all for coming, okay? So now we are going to have a presentation of colors, okay? Presentation of colors, and then Ms. State, Ms. Page Stavwart will come and be at this mic. Thank you all, thank you. Okay, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize, y'all, I apologize. Ms. Rogers don't have a glass on, let her put her glasses on and she can tell you what's going on. Okay, we're gonna have music by the Bolivar Central High School Band under the direction of Mr. McAnulty. Thank you, and I apologize for that, thank you. Now we're going to have the presentation of colors by the Bolivar Police Department. That was Coach Petey and the BCHS boys basketball team, Class AA District 15 champions. Now we're going to have the national anthem by Ms. Annalise Lucas. By the dawn's early light, was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner Okay, attention please. Now we're gonna have Ms. Paige Stallworth to come to the mic. Um, hello everyone, I'm Paige Stallworth, your mistress of ceremony. Now we will have a scripture by Hannah King, followed by a prayer by Avery King, and a welcome by Mr. Parks. Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellent and, and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for allowing us to gather uh, just to honor our veterans, Father. We thank you for the service that they have given for our country and for us, Father, and uh, we thank you for keeping them safe, and we thank you for, uh, be, for allowing them to be here today. And uh, Father, we thank you for all those who have lost their life in service for us, Father. And Father, we just pray that uh, you'll just have your hand over these people as they go through the rest of their days, Father, and you'll just bless them in many ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. I say good morning. Amen. <laughs> um, on the behalf of Principal Crocker in his absence and the faculty and staff and, and, and students here at Bolivar Central High School, we would like to welcome you all and we thank you all for all that you do and your service. We would like to thank Ms. Rogers and everybody that has uh, played a part in this uh, fifth annual Veterans Appreciation and Awareness event. We welcome you to do just sit back and relax and enjoy the program. We know there's going to be some good speaking and some good information and we want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. And now we will have speaker, Representative Johnny Shaw, District 80. I think Ms. King said it best when she read that passage, finally, my brethren which suggests to me that we finally got the idea and the importance of recognizing our veterans. What can we say about our veterans other than they've kept us safe? We've heard about, a lot about democracy later, lately. We've heard uh, so much about so many issues that if it had not been for our veterans, we would not 
be here today. And I hope and pray that we will not only recognize them just one day of the year, but when you see them at Walmart, when you see them walking the streets, wherever you meet a veteran, wherever you meet a public servant, take time to say thank you. Because you don't realize sometimes what it means to serve people and serve them well. And a good servant is one not only who serve people, but love the people that they serve right where they are. We're not elected to judge you, but to serve you. And thank you so much for recognizing our veterans today and having this program. This means so much to them, and it means so much to me to have a moment on this program to say thank you. God bless you. And now we will have a service medley by our BCHS band. Just want to say a couple of words before we play the Armed Forces Salute. Um, I, I have never served in the military, but I come from a long line of people who have. My uncle, James David McAnulty, the uh, uh, VFW hut is named after him. My father, Mormon McAnulty, uh, served in World War II and was also in the National Guard, a captain of the National Guard here in Bolivar. My middle son was in the Navy, and then my youngest son is now serving in the Marines. So I've had somebody just about in, in every branch of the service, and I know how important it is to serve, and we do want to honor y'all today for your service. Uh, we're playing the Armed Forces Medley, and hopefully you will be able to recognize your song and when we play it i hope you will be able to to recognize it and stand for your particular branch of service thank you
And now we will hear from retired Commander Sergeant Major James E. Spencer. Good morning. So today, we honor all our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. We were ordinary peoples until we heard the call of duty and answer it. We left our families, our homes, our lives, not for recognition of fame or even honor we bestowed upon us today we fought to protect our country, to maintain our way of life. We were honored, we honor our veterans and remember their great deeds. Let us also salute those who currently fight for our freedom. The war on terrorists has helped us all recognize how truly unique the American way of life is. The freedom we enjoy is extremely special and that is why we must defend it. So now is the time not only honor those who have fought or fighting for our freedom, it's also the time for each of us to take part in protecting it. The defense of freedom is not just for those in the military. Each of us share that duty and that responsibility. We have to join, we don't have to join the Army or the Navy or any other organization to defend the activity, the activity defend the way of life. We can protect our freedom simply by maintaining it here in America. If you want to preserve the freedom, we must put them in action. For example, by voting in election and speaking out against injustice, we must also ensure that everyone feel the benefit of freedom. And we can do that by volunteering in community or teaching our children it really means to be an American. Veteran Day is, it isn't just a day for veterans, it's a day for all Americans. It's a day to remember while we are fighting and a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and freedom for many future generations. Thank you for earning our veterans today. Let us walk toward tomorrow still joining, honoring them by living freedom they protect. All the veterans want to say thanks to Bottle Central High School student body and staff for honoring us today. Thank you. And now we will have the presentation of veterans' names by BCHS students. Emma Avent, JC Watkins, Elena Clark, Courtney Fergie, Alyssa Williams, Siobhan Chisholm, Hunter Wilson, Avery King, Hannah King, Morgan Boyle, and myself. Dolores Gresham, U.S. Marine Corps, LTC, retired. Warner A. Ross II, Tennessee Army National Guard, LTC of the 1278 ARC. Richard Holmberg, U.S. Air Force. Michael Bimendetto, U.S. Army. Mark Fetter, U.S. Army. Roosevelt Sang Jr., U.S. National Guard, Army, 22 years of service. Tim Bobbitt, U.S. Navy. Jared Miller, currently serving in the U.S. Marines. John Miller, U.S. Marines. Charles Miller, U.S. Navy. Latrix Cox, U.S. Navy. Edward Crisp, U.S. Army. Sandra Woods, U.S. Army Reserve. Arthur Pruitt, United States Army. Jimmy Pruitt, Air Force. Zelmalist Pruitt, Marines. Jamie Jones, U.S. Army. Jesse Evans, U.S. Air Force for 20 years. Mac Perry, U.S. Army for 15 years. Dewey Trumbull, U.S. Army, two years. Robert Wan, U.S. National Guard. William E.L. Spencer, 
U.S. Army. Robert Spencer, U.S. Army. Manley King, U.S. Army. Oda Times, U.S. Air Force. Christopher Pennington, U.S. Army. Philip Hodge, U.S. Army. Billy Higgs, Leon Davis, Army, recipient of Purple Heart and Bronze Star. Desi Ewer, retired U.S. Army. Theman Duncan, U.S. Marine SGT. Harold Llewellyn, U.S. Marine Corps PT-150. Andre Barber, U.S. Navy. Rhonda Diaz, U.S. Marine. David Smith, U.S. Army. Mr. Vernon Biebers, U.S. Army. Elvis Armour, U.S. Army. James Jones, U.S. Marines. Howard Keith Graham, U.S. Marines. James Anthony, U.S. National Guard. Wayne Brown, U.S. National Guard. Jerry Cheshire, U.S. Air Force. Jerry Clift, U.S. National Guard. Robert Cross, U.S. Air Force. Rebecca Edwards, U.S. Army. Kenneth Hadley, U.S. Army. James Hill, U.S. National Guard. Trevor Hill, U.S. Marines. Thomas McAnally, U.S. Army. Richard Stowe, U.S. Navy. Bruce Wilson, U.S. Navy. Hunter Clutter, U.S. National Guard. Roger Sturgis, U.S. Marines. Louis Vincent, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant, later retired from the National Guard. James E. Spencer, U.S. Army Retired Command Sergeant Major. David McBride, SSG, U.S. Army Retired. Robert Polk, MSG, U.S. Army Retired. Joyce Simulton, Sergeant Major, U.S. Army Retired. Virgil Hammer, SGT, U.S. Army Retired with the rank of SFC. Michael Hammer, SSG, U.S. Army Retired with the rank of SFC. Floyd E. Hudson, Colonel, U.S. Army Retired. Robert Armour, SFC, U.S. Army Retired. Audria D. Reeves, SGT, U.S. Army Retired. Derek Tisdale, 1st SG, U.S. Army Retired. Tim Robertson, SGT, U.S. Army Retired. Erlene Price, SSG, U.S. Army Retired. Charlie Brown, Jr., SGT, U.S. Army Retired. Jimmy Smith, U.S. Army, SSG, Retired as SFC. Worley R. James, SSG, U.S. Army Retired. Donnie McClone, U.S. Army. Alan Moss, U.S. National Guard. Barry Russell, U.S. Army. Roger Sturgis, U.S. Marines. John Vincent, Jr., Air Force. Charles Walton, U.S. Army. Jim McVeigh, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Dion, U.S. Marines. James R Rosser, U.S. Army. Keith Bartling, Jr., U.S. Army and Quez Kimmins, SGT E5 U.S. Army, Ann Jenkins, U.S. Army, Fred Robinson, U.S. Army, Wesley Mason, U.S. Air Force, William Reeves, U.S. Air Force, William Minter, U.S. Air Force A1C. Robert Pirtle, U.S. Marines, Dorothy Harris Green, MSGT, U.S. Air Force Retired, Elma Cobb, U.S. Army, Eddie McKinney, U.S. Army, Flake T. Hudson, U.S. Army Specialist Fifth Class, Alex Jones, U.S. Marines, Cynthia Jones, U.S. Navy, Reginald Sims, U.S. Army, Wanda Sims, SSG, U.S. Army Retired, Alvin Pirtle, U.S. Army, John David McBride, U.S. Army, Odell Green, U.S. Army, Luther Sane, U.S. Army, Bobby Woods, U.S. Army, Willie Roy Yoon, U.S. Army. Nicole Powell, U.S. Navy, Christopher Reeves, U.S. Army, Cedric Perry, U.S. Army, Felicia Mason, U.S. Air Force, Rebecca Lester, U.S. National Guard, nurse for four years, Foster Chris, U.S. Army, Mike Chris, U.S. Marine, Alonzo Heron, U.S. Army, At One Chris, U.S. Navy, Philip Woods, U.S. Marines, Major Will Jr., U.S. Army, Specialist Fourth Class, Robert Parham, U.S. Navy and U.S. Army, Specialist Ford, Charlie Brown, U.S. Army, 
Vernon 1968 through 1970, December 3rd through January 4th, J Greg Johnson, U.S. Air Force, Thomas Robertson, U.S. Army. Betty Heron, U.S. Army. Mary Edwards, United States Marines. Oscar Harvey, United States Army. Dennis Woodard, Jr., United States Army. Ernest Laban, United States Marines. Timothy Scott, United States Army. Scotty Scott, United States Navy. Clifton Pugh, United States Army. Victor Scott, Jr., United States Army. Robert Sane, United States Marines. Marvin Davis, United States Navy. And Walola Marshall, United States Army. James Hurd, U.S. Army. Tim Locke, U.S. Army. Sandra Heron Joy, U.S. Army. Wesley Joy, U.S. Army. Ben Avent Jr., U.S. Army. Robert E. Polk, U.S. Army. Robert Parham, U.S. Army. Elise Mitchell, U.S. Army. Jimmy Rucker, U.S. Army. Jimmy Long, U.S. Army. Monroe Woods, U.S. Army. L.T. Boyle, U.S. Army. Larry Webb, 135th Assault U.S. Army Helicopter. Joseph Anton Hauswanter III, U.S. Navy, Submarine Number 5429015. Homer Doyle, U.S. Air Force, Korean War Veteran, Air Force Military Police, stationed in K-10 in 1953. Melvin Bills, U.S. Army. George Bogard Sr., U.S. Marine. James Graham, United States Army. L. D. Armour, U.S. Army. Eric Beasley, United States Marine. Jimmy Woods, U.S. Army. Arthur L. Pruitt, U.S. Army. Curtis Walker, Jr., U.S. Army. Ted Glass, U.S. Army. Glendale Messenger, U.S. Army. Arthur McKinney, U.S. Army. Gene Bowden, Bowden, sorry, U.S. Army. Alexander Morrow, U.S. Army. Charlie Brown, Jr., U.S. Army. Chuck B. Brown, U.S. Army. Amher Harris, Jr., United States and National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Floyd Abram Groves, United States Navy enlisted, February 1959, retired December 1984. During that time, which included the Vietnam period, he served on two aircraft carriers and one guided missile destroyer. SSG Richard Pierce, United States National Guard Army. Sergeant First Class James E. Davis, Sergeant in the U.S. and National Guard. Paul Vogelsberg, U.S. Navy. Fred Boyd, U.S. Air Force. Vic Jones, Sr., U.S. Army. Eugene M. Murphy, U.S. Army, CW4, retired. Jennifer Blockett Powell, U.S. Army, S SSG, retired. Bernard Williams, U.S. Marines, Timothy Pica, U. Timothy Pica, U.S. Navy, and Dylan Tucker, U.S. Marine. And now we will have the reading of the proclamation by Jabari McClellan. Tennessee Senate, Office of Chief Clerk, Proclamation. Whereas dedicated to the nation's courageous military veterans, Veterans Day is a national observed every year on November 11th. Whereas the federal holiday we know as Veterans Day has been celebrated since 1919. When President Woodrow Wilson issued an official message on the first Armistice Day, when the marking once year after the end of World War I, November the 11th, 1918. As whereas Tennessee is blessed with the abundance of veterans who have honorably served in the United States Army, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Navy, 
the United States Air Force, and the United States Coast Guard. Which further supports our reputation as volunteer state? And whereas each year, November 11th, citizens across the United States of America pay tribute Whereas each year, those gallant servicemen and servicewomen who preserved in the worst conditions of war to protect the freedoms that we hold most sacred as a nation. And whereas the state of Tennessee owes a lasting debt of our gratitude to all heroic Tennessee veterans who have sacrificed so much to defend the lives of liberty, their fellow citizens. Whereas the volunteer state is always a f forefront of patriotism and this observe is no expectation now and therefore. I, Randy McNally, Speaker of the Senate of the 112th General Assembly of the State of Tennessee, in conjunction with undersigned, do hereby proclaim that we commemorate the Veterans Day on November 11, 2022 and express our gratitude and appreciation of the military veterans and their valid service. Proclaimed in Nashville, Tennessee on the 27th day of October 22nd. This was given to the veterans in honor of you all on this day, which is tomorrow, really, November 11th, from Senator Page Wally administration. Thank you all. Now we're going to have the drawing of the baskets. And I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Number 41, Mr. Paul Vogenberry. Mr. Paul, come on up. <laughs> okay. Next, we'll have another drone. We got three baskets, so we'll have two more names. <laughs> I can't read the handwriting, but if you remember, if you signed by number 44, number 44, I, I will hate to miss out on this gift basket, but I cannot read this handwriting. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come real briefly around, okay? the senator before Senator Paige Wiley, so she's still in that mode of signing that way. And uh, I apologize again, Mr. Lewis. I apologize. All right, next one. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we got another senator, I believe, up in here. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna try to say this. Number 18, Isaac McKinney. Did I say that right? Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much. Thank you. I apologize again for not knowing the names and pronouncing them correctly, but thank you all, veterans. Thank you for service to our country. We thank you. So. I think it's time for Barbara L. Rogers to come up. Where's she at? 
<laughs> oh, he did that one. All right, my turn. All right, first give it honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. I stand on some giant shoulders today, seen and unseen. I'm the C of a United States Army veteran, Mr. Eugene Pearson. I am the widow of a giant. Corporal Douglas Stephen Rogers, United States Marine veteran, combat Vietnam War veteran. These are the giant shoulders I stand on today to say thank you. Thank you to all the veterans and veterans' families. Thank you, Representative Johnny Shaw. Thank you, elected officials, Mr. Lois Gresham. Thank you the, to the Hardman County board members, to the Hardman County District, Board of Education, Administration, and staff. Bolivar Central High School Administration, Bolivar Police Department, thank you. Bolivar Fire Department, all of Harlem County and surrounding counties, thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Dion and his wife, Ms. Brenda Dion, for the donation of these flags over here. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Fulgham and his class, Mr. Lee Chris, retired teacher, Ms. Merlin James, and her granddaughter, Jade, Bolivar Central High School Media class, under the direction of Mr. Wellens, Bolivar Central High School faculty, staff, and students, VA committee, Ms. Autumn Griggs, Ms. Kamaya Bunch, Ms. Jamaya Jelt, and Ms. Rain Davis. Thank you all. Mr. Richard, retired Command Sergeant Major James E. Spencer for speaking and for the collection of those beautiful veterans pictures that you see on your program. Thank you. Thank you, Bolivar Central High School Clubs, for the donation of the baskets. Thank you to the Bolivar Central High School Band. If I have not thanked you before, I want to thank you again for your dynamic performance. Thank you. Thank you to TCAT, Tennessee College Applied Technology, for making it possible for the veterans to have these programs and their pictures on them under the direction of Ms. Dana Knight. Thank you, Ms. Burgess and work based class. Community and schools, Ms. Sherry Hoare, for the refreshments that would be in room 50. Okay, in room 50, when you leave here, please stop by. Thank you. I thank you to all who helped, prayed, whatever you did, to make this fifth annual Veterans Appreciation to be what it is today. Thank you to Ms. Desiree Rogers for doing the programs from 2018 to 2022. To God be the glory. Have a good day.